forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flare in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. Torment! 
I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. Somehow, I suspect it's worse even than you imagine. Likely you heard that I broke, or froze, or some other lie kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard her, their false god, whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again, with a god's purpose, a god's power, everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. I fell short of that mark in Avernus. And even so, it was not so bad as this. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. Descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. They have you. Go, my friend. Please, let me do this much.